Hey traders, uh, for those numerologists out there, tomorrow's an interesting day, 12, 12, 12. Uh, I just got three charts tonight. I don't really have a whole lot to add. I can only say I'm bearish for so many videos. Uh, but I do have the NASDAQ and the Dow and Apple that I'm going to take a quick look at. So this should be a little shorter of a video. Uh, the markets have basically rallied uh, back and closed nearly right at the spot where my first uh, short signal was triggered. Uh, and I want to come back here just to kind of illustrate that the markets will do just about anything to fool everybody. Uh, and when my timing signal went bullish here, and when it goes bullish, that doesn't mean that that's the buy signal. The buy signal was here, and then an additional buy signal was here. But, you know, had you bought here, the market's it's actually technically pointing to right about here. I believe the next day there was a gap down, uh, and then I, I think it might have even closed at the lows. And, and that's never fun when you immediately buy and the market goes against you, but then it rallied. And then it came all the way down and surpassed that previous low. And had you just held through all of this, this this gap down would have been would have really made you uncom <clears throat> uncomfortable. The weak bounce, uh, t making new lows here, I and mean, it's very likely people would have gotten stopped out. And uh, I, I I think that this is just illustrates the point that it's it's good to take profits uh, quickly when you have them. Uh, but but stay in the trade in my opinion you know stay in the trade until the trade goes against you because had you exited out here uh, it's unlikely that you would have gotten back into the market right away and you would have watched the market continue to go up and up and then you know some point up here you might have gotten in and then sat through some of this and sold out and and so this is what the market does you know this you have to not just you have to not get First off, you have to have a system, and you got to believe in it, and you got to follow it, and and that's more or less what I'm doing right now. Because two things, two things which give me no confidence in the markets. Number one, my timing signal is bullet, uh, bearish. Number two, if I did not have any money on the short side, and I was looking for long candidates, there just aren't that many. There aren't there aren't that many out there that fit the profile of stocks that I want to buy long. Uh, I'm not seeing breakouts. I, I'm, uh, I mean, there are some bullish chart patterns out there, uh, but most of them are slow dividend paying stocks or, you know, just stocks that don't typically lead the market. Uh, and then Apple, which which was has been the leader for so long, uh, this is just a 60 minute chart. I mean, this is this is not a bullish chart by any stretch of the imagination, in my opinion. I, I just think that this RSI is forecasting more lows, which is inevitably going to drag the NASDAQ down. Uh, we may bounce a little bit, but there's nothing about this pattern that I that would give me any confidence to put money on the long side of Apple right now. And then the Dow, well, even if the Dow, the Dow hit some pretty key resistance today, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, it's it's it has a rising bearish wedge within a upper, with, and then there's a channel within that rising bearish wedge, and they all it all basically hit a confluence of points here. And even if the market is going to turn around and, and and make a run at this previous highs, the September highs, I I, I still think that this is going to have a, a little bit of a pullback, and then at that time I'll have some more perspective to maybe analyze and who knows maybe my timing signal will be less bearish there I've seen that happen time and time again where I, I'm bearish and, and the market actually goes down and my timing signal gets less bearish so I have an opportunity to actually get out as the market's falling before it makes another leg up so my whole point here is I'm short and I really don't see any other trade right now it, with the style that I trade, everybody has different styles. So, you know, some of you might be saying, you know, well, you know, I, I see this trade and that trade and that's great. And, and there's, that's what makes a market. So for me, I'm, com I'm, I'm comfortable being short right now. I, I don't like Fed days. I don't like Fed weeks because the market feels like it's manipulated. And it's only because it goes up wildly down and then the next minute down. So, you know, stick to your strategies, whatever they are.